Hey guys, I came in for part three, um, mostly because I'm about to fuck these arrogant assholes up in New York and think that they can just speak to women like we're fucking men. Don't come at me like a man, ever. I don't give a fuck no more. I'm dropping you on your ass. Because I know you're probably going upstairs and beating your fucking girlfriend like the piece of shit you are. Don't fuck with me. Can't hide your fucking secrets tried to hit me because god forbid he watched me coming that whole time filming and he had plenty of time to turn into his garage he waited for me to walk by his garage and then rev his engine like he was gonna hit me play with me motherfucker i will break your legs you ain't running over shit this is what i deal with in new york minding my fucking business I got a fucking camera on my face. Some man thinks that he wants to knock me out, down a few pegs because God forbid a woman in the fucking hood has some goddamn self-confidence. You want to know why poor women are broke? Look at the fucking men around us. Because God forbid we fucking smile. There's more woman beaters here than ever before. I want to fucking hear that the world is fucking changing. I have three fucking floors of women getting beat. Nobody does shit. Fuck you, New York. Fuck you. <laughs> From every woman ever. I can't even walk down the street without being heckled. Everybody thinks it's a rite of fucking passage to grow up and treat women like shit in New York. Mm -mm, I don't fucking allow it. These bitches sit here and take it, not fucking me. I don't give a fuck. Sorry, side note. Just over it can't even film outside half of the time I don't even show you how much shit I'd fucking deal with because I'm out here doing something for myself nobody can handle somebody who wants to do something for themselves and put the work in they just want to sit around and talk shit about everybody and do nothing with their fucking life getting the fuck out of here I don't care where was I? <laughs> this is in such a good mood. All right, so we talked about sex a little bit. Like, getting undressed is very uncomfortable for women. We're always, like, like trying to find a pose where, like, our belly looks better or our boobs look good. We just can't. Like, I mean, we can. There are confident women, but most women have something about themselves that they're always fidgeting with when they don't have clothes on because there's this perception in women's mind that we have to maintain some order of perfection. And if we don't, we berate ourselves. Every obese woman in this country berates themselves because they don't look like the people in the magazine and on TV, and that's fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. We shouldn't feel this way, ladies, but let's talk about it. Men walk by, and what is the first thing women do? Stick their boobs out, push their butt right, and suck in their gut. Instant <gasps> pose. No. Do you know what I do? I let my fupa ride. Check out this fupa, bitch. Still want to go out a day with me now? <clears throat> well, I'm trying. <laughs> if they're really hot, I still suck in my gut. I'm working on it. Can't help it. It's ingrained. Like, <gasps> look perfect. Like we're in packaging, we're like we're Barbies and Ken's just walking down to fucking pick out and inspect you and tell you that your body's not perfect. Like, why do we think this way, women? I've never had a man walk up to me and be like, excuse me, you're standing here and you're not sucking in your gut. So, what kind of woman are you? But we are like, <gasps> suck in your gut. Where does that come from? Why do we worry about this? If, like my double chins, I fucking hate it. I hate pictures, I hate videos of myself even though I do them because I know I got a double chin right now. I've had one for four years. It's all there, it's like jiggle jiggle like a fucking turkey. Self-conscious as a motherfucker. Why? If some asshole doesn't want to talk to me because of my double chins, looks like my double chin did me a motherfucking favor then. That's what I'm learning. Embrace it, women. Why do we focus on all this stupid shit? It's a woman's brain, I'm telling you. We're wired to just nitpick the fuck out of ourselves. Like, oh, I have a pimple? Oh, my eyes are a little cockeyed. 
whatever it is that you have a self-conscious thing with, men do this too, but I feel like women are born, like, I just need to be better. I just need to be better. I could be better. I'm not doing enough in our minds. Oh, that's a bullshit. I don't like it. If you don't do that, women, can you tell me your secrets? Because all day in my brain, I'm like, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I'm like, go fuck yourself. I'm fine the way I am. That's right. We are fine the way I am. I'm reparenting myself. But it's a, it's a work in progress. And I just feel like we need to talk about it as a people. <laughs> um, so when people come over to a woman's house, most of the time women are very self self-conscious about how clean their home is if it's decorated nice especially when they're dating and like they bring someone over like is my food gonna be good and I get to, is he gonna think I'm dirty like do you think a man I mean other than cleaning up his laundry and putting his fucking jack off lotion away from his bed or whatever you know they genuinely don't scrub their whole fucking house from top to bottom just to have a date that's a woman thing like, why do our fucking houses have to be perfect? Our bodies have to be perfect. The food we present to you have to be perfect. And we also can't poop because we're women. I mean, everybody knows that we do. We just can't talk about it and or, you know, you know? Even if you, if you understood the difference between a men's room and I was a nosy little fucker and I used to sneak in the men's room probably from like five to eight. After that, I stopped for obvious reasons you know it's pervy kid get the fuck out of there at eight and I was like mm, I'm probably doing something wrong but I just wanted to see what a dick looked like I was curious it wasn't even about sex I'm like I want to know what boys look like but you know asking my friend in class who was little like me wasn't enough I wanted to see what a man's was why are women shamed into not like we're not allowed to be curious about things we're not allowed to be freaks, and if we are, we have to be shh about it. You know what? If you're a freak, I'm vanilla as fuck. I wish I was a freak. I'm vanilla. I rock vanilla dim. But if I was a freak, do you know what? I'd be like, I'm super freaky. What's a freakiness? I wish I was. I could just walk around and be like, I'm a freak. She's a freak. <laughs> Whatever. I'd be. I'd own it like a boss. But I know I'm vanilla. I can't role play, it just turns into an SM, SNL skit, like, I try to be sexy and they're like, what's wrong with you? Is your face twitching? I can't just stand in it. But inside, I have very dirty thoughts. Women aren't allowed to acknowledge this. We are more sexual than men. We're just better at capping that shit. True story. <laughs> um, saying I love you. So fucking stressful because normally a woman, they wait for the woman to say it first. Normally. Not all the time. And I'm like, when do I fucking drop this? And am I okay even saying this out loud? What if I don't feel this? What if I'm not ready to say it? Does that mean we're not right for each other? If they can't say it and I can't say it, is that a red flag? This is how women's brains work. Like, what the just say it when you want to. Who the fuck cares? Why do we put all this pressure on ourselves? And we have to hold the conversation too. Jesus. I wonder why women are so hardwired to just be like, <laughs> all the time. We have so much pressure and it all comes from within our own don'ts. And it's not our fault. This is a society problem. Mm hmm I'm just being a real bitch. Just being real. What else do we have? Oh. Naughty photos. Should we send them? And if we don't send them, are they going to break up with me? Because I don't show them. My, you know what? Uh, do you know what my stance is on photos? No. Videos? No. Because they will and can be used against you. More of fact, they will be used against you. Especially when you break up or someone finds it that isn't your fucking person. If you try to run for president, if you're the boss of a company, it will come bite you in the tits or the dick. So just don't fucking do it. And if you have them, delete them. Every fucking cookie. Like, act like you're a fucking president of the United States and that shit's going to be on the newspaper in the morning. So you should be acting about putting any images about your body in this crazy cyber world. Nothing disappears forever. It will be there. If you want your hot body capsulized, do you want your grandkids to see that when you're 90? 
think these things through, ladies. Now. <laughs>